Hi guys, this video will give you a simple introduction about how boosting algorithms work. Boosting algorithms basically convert weak learners into strong learners. A weak learner is one which is slightly better than random guessing. And boosting is a sequential process. That is, trees are grown using the information from a previously grown tree, one after the other. This process slowly learns from data and tries to improve its prediction in subsequent iterations. I'll give you a simple example as to how this happens. I start off, I have 10 data points, 5 of which are positive and 5 of which, which are negative. I build a first classifier which creates a vertical line at point D1. It says anything before left of uh, D1 is positive, anything right of D1 is negative. However, if you can carefully see, you have three positives being misclassified as negatives. So how does boosting help? Boosting says I'll draw one more, I'll make one more classifier and I'll learn from the mistakes that I did in my first classification by assigning the misclassifications higher weights. So the next classifier would now give more weightage to my negatively classified positive samples and now build a decision tree. So my decision tree would look something of this sort. Anything left of this point that is D2 is positive and anything right of that is negative. However, even in this case, I have three negative samples being classified as positive samples. So again, this is a misclassification that we have to deal with. So what does boosting do again? It uh, gives the misclassifications more weights in the new decision tree which would which it will grow. So it gives it more weightage and now it draws a horizontal line separating my samples. Again, this is not the best split that could have been made because there are two positives being classified as negatives and there's one negative being classified as positive. So where does boosting actually fit in? Boxes 1, 2 and 3 are weak classifiers. These classifiers will now be used to create a strong classifier box 4. So all the splits that my box 1 made, box 2 made and box 3 made that is this vertical split, this vertical split and this vertical split all of them combine to form this split, this split and this split. So the resultant of this is box 4 wherein there is no misclassification and it does a good job at classifying all the points correctly. This was a small example on how boosting works. In the next example, I'll be showing you how XGBoost works. So stay tuned and thank you for watching the video.